there are a number of differences which distinguish plant cells and animal cells. Many people feel, oh, animal cells, they have mitochondria. This is why animals use oxygen, while plant cells, they have the chloroplast. That's how they produce oxygen because of the photosynthesis that occurs in the chloroplast. And this is true. However, plant cells also possess mitochondria. Obviously, if they're capturing all of the energy in sunlight and putting it into organic molecules like sugar, they would like the ability to then use that energy later. So just as animal cells use their mitochondria to get ATP uh, from the breakdown of foodstuffs, plant cells use mitochondria to get uh, ATP from the breakdown of the foodstuffs that they have made. Mitochondria have changed over time, and so thus the mitochondria found in one animal species are not identical to the mitochondria found in another animal species. So for example, the chromosome may vary in the number of genes it possesses. In the same way, plant mitochondria are not identical to those of animal. For example, the DNA, the chromosome of plant mitochondria, typically is much larger and can have up to 2 million nucleotides. That of humans uh, only has 16,000 nucleotides. Uh, with these more nucleotides, not only are there more genes, uh, but then also more sequences which are not genes, such as introns and sections which are non-coding. In addition, plant cells can have multiple mitochondrial chromosomes per mitochondrion, even 20 to 40. In these microscopic images, you can see the cells of the plant Narcissus, uh, specifically the cells of a root tip in a growing plant. You can see the obvious nucleus in the middle of the cell, but the dark staining small structures which fill the cytoplasm are mitochondria. So these cells in an elongating root tip are obviously very active and need a great amount of energy. And so it makes sense that they would have a large number of mitochondria as you can see here. So mitochondria uh, break down uh, foodstuffs to produce ATP in plants just as in animals. And here you can see uh, the great number of mitochondria in these plant cells. In animal cells, mitochondria also perform other functions as they do in plants. In plants, mitochondria are involved in a number of biosynthetic pathways uh, needed to make some amino acids, fatty acids, vitamin cofactors, um, but also just as in animal cells, plant cells uh, use mitochondria in apoptosis or programmed cell death. As plants grow, as leaves die, as flowers are you know, removed from uh, a plant, as embryos are formed, uh, sometimes uh, cells are activated uh, to die through a programmed cell death uh, genetic program, which involves mitochondria in plants, just as in animals.